Hi everybody, Cindy the Scrapologist here. Thank you for coming back to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to show my channel to everybody. Thank you so much. So today I'm talking about headbands. It's really interesting to delve into the history of headbands and look at um, what they used to look like and how they've developed over the years. I encourage you to go ahead and do that on your own. I'm not going to give like a whole history of it right now, um, but just to tell you that headbands are the decorative element that are found at the head and sometimes tail of a text block on a bound book. And I'm going to start selling these in my shop. I um, I really like the look of, of headbands. And this particular one that's going to be in my shop is, is um, silk. And it's silk threads. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this quite as well as you need to, but silk threads. And they're woven onto a piece of cane. So this little piece here, inside here, is a piece of cane, and then it's fastened onto a piece of cotton tape. And this is called an art silk or woven silk headband. There are many different types. There's lurex, there's solid silk, there's woven silk, there's different widths and um, colors and uh, a myriad of these, but I for what I do, I like the green and white. It seems to match most everything I do. So I took a couple of, I took a book apart just to show you what a headband looks like. This is a, a, a book that um, I just got from the thrift store. And there's a headband at the top there. And there's a tail band. And you can see, if I pull this off, there's the band right there. And so it's glued on directly on to the text block. It wasn't always done that way, but that's how it's done in more modern books. And that's the really easiest way for us to do it in our journals that we're making. Here's a really old book from the 1800s that has a headband. So you can do it on rounded spines as well. And this one also has a tail band. And just to quickly show you how I use these, this is a book that I've deconstructed that um, I love it because look, it looks like a door. <laughs> I love this. I um, There's the front and there's the back. And actually, I have scanned this in and I'm trying to manipulate it so that you can actually buy this in my shop because it's just such a cool look. I thought I really wanted to share it. Um, it's going to make a really neat book. I'm going to put one of the, a little doorknob or a door handle here and oh, it's going to look fantastic. But I do, I do want, I do want um, headbands. So I, I'm going to be selling this by the foot, a 12 inch piece. And if you do one inch spines, then you can get 12 books out of this. I wasn't really sure. Um, I'm probably offer longer lengths if this ends up becoming a popular item. But for now, I'm just selling it in shorter lengths to see how it goes. But you can cut it to accommodate any book. So this book I already de deconstructed. I took out the pages that I wanted to. I'm keeping... Uh, this in here because I love the way they t somebody repaired this with and glued some fabric down here and I love the look of that so I'm keeping that on the front cover and then this um, is kind of glued together and has an embossed um, the publisher's information there so I wanted to keep that this is very flimsy and fragile, the the spine, so I am going to be reinforcing that. But before I do, I did want to put in my headbands. Um, by the way, the headband is your standard width, which is about 5 eighths of an inch this way. So just measure your spine. I'm only going to be able to put a headband on because I'm going to have to do some repair down here. And let's just measure this. This is about one and a half inches. 
And even though there's cane in the center here, it um, it cuts very easily. So one and a half inches. Is about right here. I'm gonna cut it and just glue it on. And I only put blue glue on the cotton piece. I do not put glue up on the silk. There we go. All right. There. And then just put it so it's barely peeking up above the book or even with it. And it's really that simple, guys. And then you just when you're when you're ready to go ahead and put your text block in, just pretend this is my text block. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, sew my pages in through here or do a rounded spine, but this is the first step towards just dressing this up. Look at that. So that's just a quickie on headbands. They're just a simple little thing like that can really dress up your journals a lot and make them look so much more professional when you have a headband in there. So thanks for checking out this quick video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!